Os moleque é liso. Hi, this is Joel from Bar Stars, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a 360 swing. Oh, kill him. The first step is to get a perfect castaway. Castaway should look something like this. So after you kick, you want to get a really high pull up so you can get more height. And then on your way back up, you want to leave your arms straight so you can get good height. She looks something like this. Yeah, so after you swing back with your arms straight, the perfect time to let go is right around here when your body is above the bar. That would ensure that you don't go backwards and instead you go up. It is very important that you let go of both hands at the same time. That will ensure proper rotation. One of the first few steps on the Sync360 is to determine which way you're good at spinning. So you can try this on the floor, just spin left and then spin right and see which one gives you the best rotation. BJ Gunsur. A good technique to get good spin is to start spinning before you actually let go of the bar. A good way to do this is to start swinging your body to the side that you're gonna spin. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up your hips a little bit and you're gonna bring up your left knee if you're spinning left and your right knee if you're spinning right. The ideal bar will be high enough so that your feet don't touch the ground so you can get a good cast. A good exercise to work on your timing is to practice your cast and then let go when your body's above the bar. This will help you improve your timing and it will get rid of some, some fear you might have. So you should go look like this. This skill can be so much stressful on your legs, so make sure you warm up really well before you try it. At this time, you should be ready to do your first 360 swing. If you're still having problems, these are might be some of the solutions. So the first potential problem is you're landing too far from the bar where you can't grip it. The solution for this one is your timing on the letting go is a little off. So just make sure you get a little more height because the more height you get, the closest to the bar you're gonna land. The second problem you might encounter is you're actually landing the 360, everything's perfect, except you can't grip it at the end. So the solution for this is to get more height. If you get enough height, you should be able to see the bar a little sooner, grab it, and you should be able to cushion it by, by testing up your bicep a little bit and then kicking down with your legs. So the third potential problem is, you're landing, everything's good, but you land with your hands too close together. So what happens is you end up over rotating. Solution for that is to get a little bit more spin, that way you can see the bar a lot sooner and you're able to position your hand at the right spot. Hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Barstars.